hi robo guard and robo text users as you may know the hq has a limit of five rings on the alarm output that is the yellow wire so after five rings of 30 seconds each the hq will no longer ring the siren for any further triggers so what you could do is if you're using robo text <clears throat> the new robo text has a radio output which basically pulses for one second what we've done is we've attached we've wired in a timer relay board we've set it to open the relay for five or six seconds but you can set it up to however long you want and then this yeah so this uh, timer relay is highly programmable so the only disadvantage is you're not unless you have another siren uh, connected to the siren output you will get the siren um, arm and disarm one bark and and two barks for disarm but if you're using a siren on the radius output uh, wired into a timer relay board then you're only going to get a siren ringing on violation or when there's somebody that has violated or, or triggered any of the zones <clears throat> it's quite simple to wire in the timer relay board has a positive negative a trigger and a trigger ground so what we've done is we have wired in the positive and negative to a 12 volt power supply and the trigger is basically wired into the radio output and then that is wired in the time relay board so the hq is now armed so if i have to trigger zone Two, we can watch what happens so as you can see that the timer relay counted down and rang for six seconds so it now is on sleep because Robotex only triggers once every 25 minutes unless we reset the alarms. So that's basically how you would wire in a timer relay to your radio output if you want to ring your siren for every violation of the RoboGuard beam and thereby you are eliminating the siren output, the five limit siren output by using the, the radio output on Robotext. Thank you for watching.